Hi everybody, I have another two color wonder uh, discovery that I thought I would share with you. Um, I have taken an egg and I've put the um, pinata gold and salmon on my blending tool with some blending, there's blending medium. And then I've just daubed over the egg, rocked it on to give it a nice coat. And it's really pretty, even just by itself, looks very marbly. I have a daughter who loves orange. And so I created this egg that has these orange, it almost looks like um, an Eastern kind of design, like a kimono design or something. So once this dries, um, and if you are wondering how to hold on to one of these, an ornament, I, I use the imp inside of a um, coat hanger, and then when I go to dry it, I put it on a spool rack, or when I go to do my sealants, I can hold it like this. Um, usually I just stick my finger inside. So what I'm gonna do is take my salmon, that's peach. I'm gonna take my salmon and I'm just gonna tip it and put a little drop. And it's just important to kind of take your time. Put a little drop and then I've got my compressor going, but you could use your canned air, go straight down and then just kind of chase the legs around. That doesn't look like too much, where are you? It's kind of white. Let me turn it. But I'm going to add another layer and you'll see that as I add the layers, you'll get more and more of an orange. And you can shoot it not all the way out, not in, and let it, it'll kind of sink back in on itself to create the color too. Put another dot. I don't know how my light is. It seemed like my light was washing colors out, but now I'm worried that we can't see, so I'm gonna turn a little bit more light on. Those, the colors are much prettier than they'll put in the other one. So here's where I'm working getting more orange. I'm going to kind of spread it out. It's a good beginning to a blossom. And I'm going to put one in. It's going all the way to the edge, so I probably will hit it with the air again. And just kind of chase those legs around and see how it's getting it's getting more and more peach. And then for my final one or two, it's just a trick. It gets run down and you get a big drip where you don't want it. So I'm just going to put a little dot, maybe a little bit more, and let it run out. Nuts. I see a dog hair. And there's a this one. Do again. All right. For TV's sake, we'll pretend that's not there. Let's spread it out one more time. And even there, I kind of have a halo from where the peach was. Just keep adding dots till you have it how you want it. But I love letting it just bleed out and create this circle. It reminds me of when, I, when you work in glass to make beads, if you just keep turning and turning in the flame, it'll, it'll make a perfect circle. It kind of reminds me of that. It'll find its way out to the edge. So if I make a smaller dot, it's going to find its way out to the edge, but it won't be able to go quite as far. And then I'll get that cool double line. And sometimes when I need a small dot or a small line, I use this uh, 
tool that's usually used for masking fluid. I think it's called a line maker or something. Depending on how tight you do the screw is how big your line or your drop is going to be. So I'll test this out on. Usually I like to take the first drop off because it's sometimes too big. And then I'll drop it on here and I can tap it. I can even go make it in a little bit of a circle if I want to control the shape a little bit better. Let it, I'm letting it kind of dry out a little bit and then I'm going to hit it with the air. It's kind of a nice little blossom. And then I'll come back in. I'm liking that tool. Maybe that's the better way to go. And if I want, I can even do a third one. You can kind of do as many concentric circles as you want, especially with this nifty tool. So there's some nice concentric circles. And basically what you do is just work your way around the, um, the egg. This has a little bit too much gold on it. When you do your, your mixture, I'm catching drips with a Q-tip, you might want to um, make sure you don't have too much gold because the gold sometimes does funny things at the edges. And it, it's a little bit hard for the, um, the ink to break it up. It almost turns into chunks of leaf. So that big parts of gold came off, but it won't matter because I'm going to be adding more salmon. I'm letting it come out to the edge. And it's, you know, it's overlapping with the other flower, but it really doesn't matter. This time I'm going to leave it. And that'll be a kind of an organic shape of a flower. I'm going to move to another part and start one down here. And a good way to fill up your space is just to sort of zigzag and don't try to make them all the same. You know what? I'm not liking that one, so I'm just going to swish it away. There we go. Uh, and it'll just become part of the back background. Um, if you try to make them all perfect in the same then you're going to have a problem. But if you on purpose make them all different, a friend of mine taught me that, then it's a kind of, I meant to do that thing, which is wonderful. I'm going to switch back to my little tool so I can control my drops. You can use Q-tips, but Q-tips absorb so much of it, and sometimes you can't get enough ink down. So there goes a drop of my ink running because I'm showing it to you. So I'll shoot it a little bit. And then I'm going to put another drop. That's my little line tool. better. I wasn't really liking the shape of it. So now I've, I like my basic flower and I can work on the middle very carefully. Let it spread out. I don't think I, think I can get you for that. Especially if you put it down on the canvas then it absorbs up what was in the pen. Whoops. I'm going to dab it on there to get the excess. I just love how it creates those lines. I have to show you all the, um, at some point I'll show you the landscapes I've been doing, and they're facilitated by the way that this medium creates those lines. Oh, 
And you, you know, if there's a part you don't like, you can always take it off with either alcohol or, or the medium. So that is the idea. When you fill your space, you have a beautiful kimono egg. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks.